Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the great solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Filled with the Holy Spirit, she was taken body and soul into heaven after her earthly life here. And so in this Mass, we bring our hopes, we bring our prayers and intentions to Jesus through Our Lady. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. <laughs> 
Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened and the Ark of His Covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky, it was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down on the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had, pla where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of His Anointed One. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The Queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen takes her place at your right hand in gold of Ophir. The queen stands at her right hand, arrayed in gold. Hear, O daughter, and see, turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. The queen stands at her right hand, arrayed in gold. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your lord. The queen stands at her right hand, arrayed in gold. They are borne in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The queen stands at her right hand, arrayed in gold. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to light, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ, then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this great feast, this great solemnity of the assumption of Our Lady into heaven. 
in the language of the church, we hear the words Mary being assumed into heaven, body and soul. Ang atin pong pagdiriwang ngayong linggo na ito ay nagpapaalala sa atin na si Maria sa oras ng kanyang kamatayan ay iniakyat ng buong buo kasama ang kanyang katawan at ang kanyang kaluluwa paakyat sa langit. And this interaction between body and soul is what we also experience. Mary is a human being like us. And like Mary, we also have a body, we also have a soul. And in the life of Mary, we see this interaction in our life, of our life as body, but at the same time, we also have a soul. In our Gospel reading today, we see here this interaction between the body and the soul of Mary. In our Gospel reading, we hear of these two women, Elizabeth and Mary. This is what we call in our uh, praying of the rosary, the mystery of the visitation. And when we see the visitation of Mary to Elizabeth, we see two pregnant women. And being pregnant, I am sure that it takes a toll to their bodies. Ang dalawang babae na ito na nagkita ay parehas na buntis. At malamang ang kanilang katawan ay napapagod sa pagdadalang tao. Elizabeth, in her old age, was able to bear a child in her womb. And I am sure, as an old woman, bearing a child in her womb can become tiring. But when she heard Mary's greeting upon entering her house, her soul was filled with the Holy Spirit, according to our Gospel passage today. And when she saw Mary, she was very happy. Her infant in her womb even leaped for joy. And because of the joy in her soul brought by the Holy Spirit, she was able to say this song, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Even if her body was tired because of her pregnancy, because of her old age, her soul was lifted up by the Holy Spirit. And she was able to be glad and joyful in the midst of the tiredness of childbearing of her body. Kahit na ang kanyang katawan ay pagod sa pagdadalang tao at sa kanyang katandaan na rin, ang kanya namang kaluluwa ay pinuno ng Espiritu Santo. Kaya kahit pagod ang katawan, masigla ang Espiritu, masigla ang kaluluwa dahil sa Espiritu Santo. And this is also what we see in the life of Mary, Mary, who visited Elizabeth, 
I am sure Mary was also tired of traveling to the hill country in haste. Nagmamadali si Maria, kaya sigurado tayong pagod sa paglalakbay. Pagod din sapagkat si Maria ay nagdadalang tao. At sigurado tayong pagod din ang katawan sapagkat maraming sinasabi ang mga tao tungkol sa kanyang pagbubuntis. I am sure Mary is tired of worry, anxiety, of traveling, of bearing a child in her womb. But her soul was filled with the Holy Spirit. And upon visiting Elizabeth, she was also able to praise God. And she said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Yes, Mary's body may be tired. Mary's mind may be filled with worries, anxieties of her childbearing, of Joseph and her childbearing, but her soul was strong. Her soul was filled with the Holy Spirit. That is why Mary was able to say, even in the midst of the tiredness of her body, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Pagod man ang katawan ni Maria sa paglalakbay, pagod man ang kanyang katawan sa pagdadalang tao kay Jesus, pagod man ang kanyang katawan at ang kanyang pag-iisip sa pag-aalala, sa mga sinasabi ng mga tao tungkol sa Kanya, ang Kanyang kaluluwa, ang Kanyang Espiritu ay nagbigay pa rin sa Kanya ng kagalakan, ng lakas para papurihan ang Diyos. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa panahon po natin sa ating pinagdaraanan ngayong pandemic na ito, lalo na po ngayon na napapansin natin na dumarami ang kaso araw-araw ng COVID-19, maaaring mayroon sa inyong mga nanonood ngayon ng ating online mass ay may sakit. You are trying to recover from COVID-19. Siguro maaaring meron sa inyong nanonood ngayon are recovering from the loss of a loved one. And your body is tired. Maybe some of you who are watching right now are are frontliners, medical workers. Maybe some of you are still on duty and you just took a break to watch a Sunday Mass. And you feel that you are tired. Your body is tired. Your body is trying to bring you down. The sickness of your body, the tiredness of your body is trying to bring you down. Remember, that you are not just a body. You have a soul. And that soul is filled with the Holy Spirit. Allow your soul, allow the Holy Spirit to lift up your soul so that it could again sing praise to God. Tiredness and sickness would try to bring your body down. But like Mary and Elizabeth in our gospel passage today, their bodies may be tired, 
their minds may be tired of anxiety and worry, but the Holy Spirit filled their souls and lifted their souls up so that they could praise God. Yes, tiredness and sickness would try to bring your body down, but allow the Holy Spirit to lift your soul up. Your soul may lift you up, which is filled with the Holy Spirit. In our first reading today, we hear of this uh, vision in the book of Revelation of the enemy, the dragon, trying to bring down the woman and her offspring. When the woman was about to give birth, the dragon was there and she, the dragon tried to snatch the body of that child. The dragon will try to bring you down. The dragon will try to bring your body down. But in our first reading, it was God who protected the woman and her son. And God brought the son and the woman to a special place. The dragon, the enemy, sickness, tiredness will try to bring your body down. But allow God to fill your soul and lift you up in the midst of tiredness and sickness. And in our second reading today, from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, St. Paul assures Christians that not only sickness, not only tiredness, but even death will try to bring you down. But St. Paul assures us that Christ has defeated death. Christ has subjected death under his feet. And from now on, even death cannot bring us down because our souls will be lifted up by Jesus in his victory. That is why the example of the assumption of Our Lady, Jesus bringing up the body and the soul of Mary into heaven, reminding us that not even death can bring your body and soul down. But through our faith in Jesus, like Mary, our souls and one day our bodies will be lifted up to the kingdom of heaven. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa araw po na ito ay pinapaalala po sa atin ng ating dakilang kapistahan na tayo bilang mga tao ay mayroong katawan. At ang katawan na ito ay napapagod din, nagkakasakit din, sapagkat ang ating katawan ay hindi naman kakayanin ang lahat sa mundong ito. Darating ang punto na mapapagod, magkakasakit, magkakaroon ng pag-aalala at problema sa buhay. Pero wag nating hayaang dalhin tayo pababa ng mga problema na ito. Mayroon tayong kaluluwa. Mayroon tayong mga kalooban na kayang iangat tayo muli sa tulong ng Espiritu Santo, sa tulong ni Jesus. Today, I am uh, celebrating my uh, one year of uh, being afflicted by 
COVID-19. Last year, around this time, I started feeling uh, symptoms of uh, COVID-19. So it has been a year of experiencing this dreaded disease. And uh, siguro baka marami sa inyo ay makaka-relate din sa aking uh, karanasan. Nagsimula sa sore throat. So once you have a sore throat, I am sure now, having a sore throat is different. Dati kapag may sore throat ka, uh, kakain ka lang ng uh, lozenges, no, candies, na mawawala din yan. Ngayon, kapag ka nagka-sore throat ka, naku, ayan na, nag-iisip ka na ano ang mararamdaman mo. So, it started with a sore throat. And the worrying also started. I already locked myself inside my room. At sabi ko, wala nang lalapit sa akin. And true enough, it started with a sore throat and then the body pains came in the fever came in and your body is truly tired bigla bigla na lang lalagnatin sasakit ang katawan at ang pagod na nararamdaman ng katawan mo at bukod sa lahat ng nararamdaman ng katawan mo ay parang ibinababa ang iyong sarili sa takot at pangamba. Sa takot na hindi makahinga, sa takot na magpro-progress ang sakit, iba pala yung karanasan ng sakit na ito. It is not just about trying to recover and fighting off the disease, it is about fighting off fear and anxiety. Good thing, I have uh, uh, many friends and a friend was always trying to teach me to, that in the midst of this sickness, you pray and praise God. Sabi ko sa kanya, how can I praise God? No? I am a... Uh, I am sick, my head is aching, uh, nasa higaan ako at hindi, hindi makabangon ng maayos. How can you say you know, to praise God in the midst of all this sickness? But she said, you know, my friend, that your soul needs to praise God in order for your body not to be brought down by, by this sickness your soul can bring you up. The Holy Spirit can bring you up again. Do not allow that sickness to bring your body down and to bring your spirit down. And good thing, she accompanied me in prayer always. I was very tired to pray and sometimes I would just listen for her to pray with me. And that brought my spirit up. My soul magnified the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, Mary did not allow tiredness. She did not allow fear, worry, and anxiety to bring her body down. In fact, in the midst of all those, her soul magnified the Lord. Her spirit rejoiced in her Savior. And that made the difference. Sa panahon po ng ating pandemic ngayon ay hayaan po natin na ang pagdiriwang natin ng kapistahan na ito ng pag-aakyat kay Maria sa kalangitan magpaalala sa atin na maaaring maraming mga factors ang magsusubok na pabagsakin tayo, pabagsakin ng ating mga katawan, ang ating mga isipan. Pero tandaan natin na sa gitna ng lahat ng ito, hayaan natin ang ating mga kakaluluwa ay punuin ng Espiritu Santo 
upang tayo ay patuloy magpuri sa Diyos. And we will see that Jesus will lift us up again, body and soul. Jesus will lift us up, strengthen us once again, and give us life. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, in God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Raised body and soul to glory, Mary shines forth as a great sign of our eternal future as the Church. But we are still pilgrims as we bring our prayers with her to God our Father. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, that we look forward to the resurrection promised us by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For world leaders, that they will always work for peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For devotion to Mary, that Christians may find unity around the lowly handmaid exalted to glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our families, that the gentle Queen of Peace may reign in every home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the dead, that they will rise with Christ to rejoice forever with our Lady and the Saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass, and we especially include in our prayer today all those who are sick at this moment those who are struggling, trying to recover and strengthen themselves, those in the hospitals, those in the intensive care units. And we also specially pray for our frontline workers, our medical workers and staff. In silence, let us lift all of these to our God. Lord of heaven and earth, our prayers come before you with the help of the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, the first believer called to share in the glory of your triumphant Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord. And through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts aflame with the fire of love constantly long for you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your Church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery 
of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our uh, beloved Cardinal Jose Advincula, our new Archbishop here in Manila, has requested that in all Masses today, we will together pray the prayer to Our Lady of the Assumption. This prayer is to renew our consecration and our entrustment to the protection of Our Lady. Our Lady who is loved by the Filipino nation, Our Lady who loves the Filipino nation. And so I invite all of you, and uh, even you who are watching through this online uh, broadcast of the Mass, to follow us in prayer, and the prayer will be projected on your screens. And uh, let us all together pray the prayer to Our Lady of the Assumption. Most Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and our Mother, you are the fairest fruit of God's redeeming and faithful love. You are assumed into heaven and sing of the Father's mercy and still accompany us with the Mother's love. In this time of pandemic, we come to you, our sign of sure hope and comfort. Today, we renew the act of consecration and entrustment carried out by those who have gone before us. With the love of a mother and handmaid, embrace our parish, our city, and our nation, which we entrust and consecrate once again to you together with ourselves and our families. In a special way, we commend to you those particularly in need of your maternal care. Mary, health of the sick, sign of health, of healing, and of divine hope for the sick, we entrust to you all who are infected with the coronavirus. Mary, Mother of Consolation, who console with the mother's love all who turn to you. We entrust to you all those who have lost loved ones in the pandemic. Mary, help of Christians who come to our rescue in every trial. We entrust to your loving protection all caregivers, medical workers, doctors, nurses, and frontliners. Mary, Queen and Mother of Mercy, who embrace all those who call upon your help in their distress, we entrust to you all who are suffering in any way from the pandemic. Mary, Seat of Wisdom, who were so wonderfully filled with the light of truth, we entrust to you all who are working to find the cure to this pandemic. Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, who gave yourself wholeheartedly to God's plan for the renewing of all things in Christ, we entrust to you all leaders and policy makers. Accept with the benevolence of a mother the act of consecration that we make today with confidence and help us to be your son's instruments for the healing and salvation of our country and the world. Mary, Mother of the Church, you are assumed into heaven, our true home. You are enthroned as Queen at your Son's right hand. We ask your intercession for the needs of our country, that every desire for good may be blessed and strengthened, that faith may be revived and nourished, hope sustained and enlightened, charity awakened and animated. Guide us, we pray, along the path of holiness. 
Mary, our mother, bring everyone under your protection and entrust everyone to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all of you who have uh, uh, taken time and joined us in this celebration of our Holy Mass. We thank you for your uh, uh, continued support and following continuously the Manila Cathedral. And uh, we also uh, ask you to, uh, in celebration of the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, to download for free the the 500 years of Christianity mission app, 500 YOC mission app that you can download uh, on your cell phones, on your tablets, and all of these uh, prayers for the Jubilee year, the conditions for the plenary indulgence, and many other prayers and details about our Jubilee churches can be found in our 500 YOC mission app. And uh, even in this time of our enhanced community quarantine, when we cannot go out of our house to go on a physical pilgrimage, still we can avail of the plenary indulgence of the 500 years of Christianity by following the different prayers and acts of charity that we can do daily even inside our homes or even if you are sick or if you are taking care of the sick. So we ask you to search and download the 500 YOC Mission app on Android and also in Apple so that we can avail of the many prayers and graces for the 500 years of Christianity in our country. And we would like also to uh, convey our special greeting to the Catholic Women's League, particularly from Cluster 6 of Northern Mindanao, as they will be having their leadership training seminar today. And we pray that our Lord and Our Lady may continue to guide you in your mission and uh, in the vision of uh, your organization. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.